1 million pesos and you want to make it grow entrepreneurship 1 million pesos and you want to maximize it and you want to multiply it the stock market the cryptocurrency market but if you're at the phase in your life also that you just want to preserve it the best way that you can actually do is to get assets that will give you fixed income Hey guys, so I had a talk yesterday with Pag-ibig and DTI in Taiwan. So we had a talk for all of our Kababayan OFWs there in Taiwan. And I talked about the importance of saving and investing. But what struck me and what was so interesting was during the Q&A. And one of the questions that was asked by uh, one of the attendees was, if you have 1 million pesos, where would you diversify it? What would you do with it? What would be the best investment? And I want to expound on that here on this video so that you have the full context of it. So please remember this, that 1 million pesos is relative also, depending on where you are in life. If you are just starting out, 1 million pesos is a lot of money already. 1 million pesos may be an amount that you may either want to diversify because if it goes to zero and then you're just starting out, it will severely hit your finances. But in the same way, you have other investments already, you're making more money already, or you have other sources of income either from a business or other assets that you've collected down the line, 1 million may not be as big. So to answer that question, I really believe that context is everything and I want to give you full context. If you have 1 million pesos and you are at the phase of your life that you want to position that 1 million will just keep on adding and adding and adding and adding and adding and adding money to you. The best thing that you could do with that 1 million is most likely to focus fire and be very entrepreneurial with it. I've been saying this over and over and I've been very consistent about this that if you earn 100% in the stock market on a yearly basis, not a lot of people can do that. And that's very, very hard to do. But if you get to do that, that means you're very, very good already. When you are at the phase of your life where you don't have a lot of capital, say you have 20,000 pesos, you have 50,000 pesos, that from 20,000, na doble mo siya to 40,000, from 50,000, na doble mo siya into 100,000. That's incredible, but it's not really that game-changing yet. Meaning, if you have 20,000, you know, 50,000 in negosyo mo, it's easier for you to get more than 20,000 and not for a year. You can get 20,000 more just in a couple of days, just in a couple of weeks, just in a couple of months if you go the entrepreneurship route. But that being said, 1 million pesos, of course, is a significant amount of money. But if you want to maximize it well, my suggestion is to go the entrepreneurial route. Meaning also for that 1 million pesos, if you already have figured out something that is earning for you, then use that money to buy more inventory. Use that money to expand the current model kung paano ka kumita ng pera. I've said this in a lot of videos that it makes more sense to put in more into something that's already working for you. It makes more sense to put in money into a proven model that you've seen that may help you make that 1 million pesos. Please remember this, that if you made that 1 million pesos, it means that either you have skills or you have the discipline or you're really good at something that allowed you to make that money. My suggestion, if you want to really double down on it and make it grow rapidly, balik po muna doon. If you're at a point in your career or if you're at a point in your life also that you want to maximize already what you have, you want to uh, multiply it, invest it by all means and it could be in the stock market, it could be in the cryptocurrency market and even when I say in the stock market, it could be diversified even in Philippine stocks and US stocks. And the reason why I place this second as a way for you to maximize what you have already because dun sa unang part, especially pag entrepreneurship, control mo siya, meaning you can control the amount of products that you sell. Pag mahina yung sales, you can also make discounts attached to it. So there's more flexibility. In terms of investing in the stock market or in the cryptocurrency market, there's a lot of things that you can control. It. And since there's a lot of things that you cannot control, it's all about, in my opinion, risk management. And the way you get to multiply it is by exercising proper risk management and having the conviction that in spite of volatility, you know what you're getting into. It doesn't matter if you're a trader or an investor already. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter anymore. What matters is your deployment of capital into assets, into investments that will allow you to maximize it. To make a very, very straightforward 
answer. 1 million pesos and you want to make it grow entrepreneurship. 1 million pesos and you want to maximize it and you want to multiply it, the stock market, the cryptocurrency market. But if you're at a phase in your life also that you just want to preserve it, the best way that you can actually do is to get assets that will give you fixed income. So that could be preferred shares, that could be bonds as well, that could be REITs. REITs in a way that hindi nyo na habol yung capital appreciation, pero habol nyo na lang yung passive income na binibigay na dividends doon. Or it could also be common shares, but in a way that na wala naman kayong intention na ibenta yung shares later on, but your main goal is just to receive the dividends. So it could be common stocks with high dividends, it could be preferred shares, it could be REITs, Again, I'll repeat this, that you don't have any intention to sell. Then it could be bonds as well. Then it also could be real estate, meaning you're getting, you're putting in money into real estate that's income generating. You're putting in money in real estate that could most likely give you rental revenue. And people might be asking, di ba Marvin, there are a lot of cryptocurrencies where you put there, it will give you a high APY. Yes, pwede rin yun. So for those who are in the crypto space and have studied it very well, and there's a lot of options to do it. You can do it in centralized exchanges or you can do it in indexes that could give you our rates of return that are massively higher than what you could actually get in other fixed income instruments as naintindihan nyo naman how it actually is and the risk attached to it, then by all means you can do so. I just wanted to say that there's a higher degree of risk lang since it's cryptocurrencies, but if you're in it for the passive income and you're in it to get the recurring income from that, then we can add that also in that category. So I'll repeat it. You want to add, you want to grow entrepreneurship, you want to multiply, you want to maximize the stock market, the cryptocurrency market, you want to preserve what you have, fixed income instruments, preferred shares, high dividend, common stocks, REITs, bonds, property market that's income generating, rental income, then cryptocurrencies where you can get returns off of it, either through staking or savings, something that will give you a return just by holding on to the cryptocurrencies that you have. It's not a one-size-fit-all approach. It's more of nasan kaysa state ng buhay ngayon. And nagchichange yun eh. When I was younger, of course, I wanted to grow. I wanted to add. When I got older, I wanted to multiply. And now, I want to preserve. I want what I have saved. I want what I wanted to invest also to still have the ability to either push up, but I want to get recurring cash flow for it. And that's why, if you've noticed the evolution of videos also, uh, and it's shift and it's changed in terms of what I've been valuing more. As you've seen it also in this channel, we've been placing more and more context also into passive income returns that you can get by investments. It's not just for 1 million pesos, you can apply these principles to 500,000 pesos, to 5 million pesos, to 10 million pesos. And that's why what I've been doing here is trying to give you principles so that you can apply it to where you are in life. I have to realize that there's 265,000 of you watching this or subscribed to this channel that you are all in different stages of your life. And since you are all in different stages of your life, it would be very, very hard just to give a very, very specific example. But I'm trying to give as much context to this so that you can apply it in your life. What's very, very important right now is to realize and to find out where you are. As you find out where you are, that's what will allow you also to uh, deploy your strategy already and please to remember there's no right or wrong into this baka mamaya sabi nyo nako nasa preservation stage na pala ako dapat di na pala ako nag-growth stocks not necessary um, what I'm saying is what will work for me may not also work for you and what will work for you may not also work for me but these are sound principles that I've seen work not just in my life, I've seen it work in different lives of people as well. For those who have been following me on my other social channels, I've mentioned that I was invited by Binance to be part of the launching of their NFT marketplace. And I believe that this is something very, very significant because for those who don't know, NFTs, non-fungible tokens, will be the future of art and collectibles. And I've been dabbling bits and pieces of it, entering the top shot and buying some other NFT collectibles from other marketplaces. But it was such an honor to be part, to be selected for Filipinos lang out of the 100 NFT creators around the world were handpicked by Binance to be part of the inaugural launch. And it's nice to be part of history. It's nice to be included into something that I believe will be something that's very, very historic that 20, 30, 40 years from now, it would be nice that I actually could say that when NFT was starting out and before it even boomed, I was actually part of it. And as I end this video, I want to show you bits and pieces of some of the collectibles that are in the NFT site. These are some of them and it's a graphical representation of 
my entire journey in the cryptocurrency market space. Like what you see here, invest in Bitcoin and then there's a Bitcoin being held and being deposited because I really believe that people should actually start investing in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies because it's the future eh? and it has been one of the best performing assets over the past years. And then Bitcoin mining, then yung sababay, as you can see here, meron, na kali, meron dito yung Bitcoin, na, it's, it's entitled the Great Dip. As we've seen over the past few weeks, uh, Bitcoin, has massively dropped and it shares also my sentiment on buying the dip especially if you are an investor so uh this is just exciting because it's um the genesis launch it will be the first it's the first ever and if you treat nft similar as how you would treat collectibles and art normally the first launches over the long term become valuable as well so for those who have been watching my channel for quite some time and wanted also to dabble in nfts and then you already have a binance account uh, this is a good way for you to be part of it. You get to share this investing journey with me as well. And you get to share my conviction on the principles and philosophies that I believe towards cryptocurrency. So for those who want to know how you can get to it, I'll, I'll divide it into two. If you already have a Binance account, just log in through the website version of Binance. Then pag nakalog in kayo dun, go to binance.com slash en slash nft. Then lalabas lahat, lalabas your marketplace. Then just search my name, Marvin Germo. Then Lala said, for some reason, wala pa yung link and you can see profiles. But once you enter the Binance NFT site na nakalagin kayo from your Binance account, search Marvin Germo, then Lala basto. So unfortunately, whatever you see here, it's only accessible to those who have Binance accounts. So for you to be able to access this, you need to have a Binance account first. I'll put the link in the description below for you to be able to access it as well. Since this is also an asset class, this could also be a way for you to diversify. And I think advantage na talaga ng NFTs is that hindi mo kailangan bumili ng physical painting for you to be able to have art, for you to be able to have collectibles. And yung lamang nito, never siya magkakaroon ng fake because everything is written in the blockchain and you see kung saan siya nanggaling, you see sino yung nakabili, sino yung nakabenta, you see the entire history of it. For people like us who are digital, hindi ka na matatapon, baka masira, baka mawala, baka masunog, etc. As long as you have an internet connection, you get to have the possibility to get it as well. So, yun, that's it. I hope you guys got a lot from this and I hope that this is something that was helpful and I hope that this gave you insight on how you can actually deploy capital for a million pesos. And if you like more of this, like, share, subscribe, and smash the bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about investing.